the trial of giving up what you value. You don't just wake up to a fresh day when your eyes open in the morning. You're becoming aware of a higher calling, one that extends beyond the boundaries of the material world. Your existence is much more magnificent than you can ever fathom. Since you are a spiritual creature, traveling on a spiritual path, that is the wonder of life. However, this epic spiritual journey has its own share of difficulties attachment being one of the biggest. Each of us has treasures that we keep close to our hearts, be they goods or people. It could be a person, a thing, a position, or even an idea. Love and attachment are normal, human emotions, but when they turn into idolatry, they cause problems. Anything you grow to be so dependent on that you feel you can't live without it, becomes an idol, a diversion that keeps you from pursuing your true calling. The cosmos pays close attention when you declare that you can't live without something at certain times. It sounds like a bell being rung the spiritual world. In essence, you're summoning the lesson you need to take away. The universe will put you through spiritual tests to see where your heart truly resides. Do you firmly believe in your greater calling, or are you caught in a web of earthly ties? The universe will always prove you wrong. If you find yourself clutching to someone or something so tightly that you feel your existence would be in danger without it, you'll experience being without that specific thing or person, which will be challenging but informative, not as a form of retribution but as a means of maturation and self-discovery. This is the universe's method of teaching you to be a full individual who can stand on your own. This idea is echoed in many philosophical and spiritual traditions teachings, from Buddhism's promotion of non-attachment to Stoicism's call for emotional fortitude. The universe will test your ability to let go of even those things you feel are essential to your identity. In its infinite wisdom, these exercises check to see if you're prioritizing these attachments over your soul's ultimate goal. The cosmos wants to know before it gives you more authority or more spiritual understanding. What is the place of your heart? Is your focus on fleeting material achievements causing you to lose sight of your larger journey? Your ability to focus will be put to the test, and you'll be asked who or what you serve. Are your attachments holding you captive, or are you a willing participant in life's grand plan, willing to go along with spiritual advancement as it happens? Rumi once said, you were born with wings. Why do you choose to crawl through life? You are being invited by life to fly to transcend the ordinary and the tangible, and to follow your higher purpose. You get closer to flight with every attachment you let go of and every idol you end. The objective is to keep love and passion from getting in the way of your ultimate aim rather than to eradicate them. Keep in mind that your wings, not the things you hold, are what define you. You become more resilient, smarter, and in touch with your genuine self with each spiritual test you pass. You realize that you are, are the universe experiencing itself rather than merely a tiny creature in a huge universe. Your higher mission is to live a life bigger than life itself. And that is the journey that is worthwhile without side trips or diversion. Having to wait longer than usual is a test of patience. The concept of waiting for anything good has almost become obsolete in today's age of instant gratification, where everything appears to be just a click away. We've been conditioned to anticipate fast gratification, instant solutions, and instant rewards. But when you embark on a spiritual quest and awaken to a higher calling, you rapidly come to understand that the universe works on a different schedule. Having patience isn't about being able to wait. It's about being able to wait with a positive attitude. 
the ability to exercise patience is possibly one of the most difficult things you will learn on your spiritual path, especially in this day and age when technology and contemporary comforts have trained us to expect results almost immediately. Waiting can be agonizing and make you think something is wrong. If it's meant to happen, why isn't it now, you might wonder? But let's alter this perspective. These pauses and waiting times are not just void spaces in time. They are deliberate breaks that show us that life is full of highs and lows and ebbs and flows. The cosmos delivers delays to prepare us for life's inherent volatility, not as a punishment. Every delay teaches you a lesson and gives you a chance to acknowledge that life doesn't always go according to your schedule or plans. However, that's not a bad thing. Rather, it's a chance for improvement. What message is the universe trying to convey to you right now? Are you prepared to hold on and wait for what you dearly desire? Or will you turn away from your path? Because events aren't going exactly how you had planned. These inquiries aren't designed to mock you. Rather, they're meant to test you, bolster your determination, and help you gain a deeper understanding of who you are and where you're going. Keep in mind that the universe is not making you wait in order to punish you or to thwart your dreams. Your urge to wait so that you can develop a deeper appreciation for what you're anticipating when it does come to pass. Your dreams and goals require time to establish a firm foundation and completely develop. Much like a seed gently emerging from the ground, the adage, good things, come to those who wait has profound insight and frequently the longer the wait the more rewarding the result but how can you lessen the agony of this waiting you develop the ability to remain still and to simply be without feeling the urge to act continuously you can wait more easily at that point you can filter out the noise and control your impulsive thoughts and emotions while you are still According to Eckhart Tolle, being in a condition of grace, ease, and lightness means not resisting existence in any way. Slowing down helps you discover your inner voice, gain a deeper understanding of your own wants and desires, and most importantly, achieve serenity in the present. And the future becomes less intimidating when you are at peace with the present. You are not merely killing time while you wait patiently. Rather, you are gaining knowledge, toughness, and spiritual depth. The universe, in all its vast wisdom, knows when everything should happen. Even if you believe you are ready or wish you were, it knows when you are. And when the proper time does come, the happiness you experience will be enhanced by the endurance it took to get there. It will be pure delight, made richer by the weight, untarnished by impatience. So keep in mind that every second you wait helps you get ready for what's on the other side when you find yourself waiting at a door that seems to never open. You are being formed at this time into the person who will be prepared to enter that door. And when it does open, you'll look back on the time spent waiting as an essential part of your adventure rather than as wasted time. Your reward will be immeasurable, not only in terms of wealth, wisdom, or worldly fulfillment. Every hiccup in life teaches us something. So hold on, stay calm, and know that your time will come. When it does, you'll realize why every second was required, because what you're waiting for is truly worth the time spent waiting for it, and you are worth the effort put into getting there. When everything around you crumbles, your faith will be put to the test. There are times during our lives' journeys when we feel as though the universe has set us on an anvil of hardship, hammering us with it until we feel as though we can no longer take it. These are the times when our faith is tested to the absolute limit and when our very existence is shaken. It's alluring to think that something terrible has happened, but what if... This is a significant spiritual test. 
everybody experiences times when everything seems to be failing. Our faith is not only being tested during these times, but it is also being reinforced. When things are going well, having trust is simple. Maintaining that faith while you're surrounded by darkness is the ultimate test. Faith is not the conviction that God will grant your requests. It is the conviction that God will act morally. Depending on your perspective, God or the universe is more than just a friend who shows up just when things are going well. The challenging parts of life's journey strengthen and deepen the bond you develop with a higher power. When everything breaks apart, your left bear should be open to divine intervention and to a life enriching partnership. You discover your true character through the most trying times. Can you maintain your convictions in the face of unforeseen difficulties? The cosmos frequently employs these circumstances to test your fortitude, flexibility, and level of faith. Remember, even if it could seem harsh or even cruel, you won't be the same person you entered the storm as when you emerge. That is the main cause of the storm. Pain and adversity don't have no purpose. Remember that you are being pruned like a plant when you feel like you are being stripped to the very core. This pruning is a loving act rather than a destructive one. In order to make room for new development, God or the cosmos is removing the dead branches, the attitudes or ideas that no longer serve you. Cutting away these components calls for a tremendous leap of faith on your behalf. A belief that what is being replaced will be more powerful, lively, and in line with who you really are. Being worked on can be quite uncomfortable. Nobody enjoys being physically or figuratively torn apart. But these challenging times are not as bad as they appear. The cosmos is preparing you. It is not punishing you. Preparing you for what comes next. For bigger things than you can now even comprehend. The process of molding you into the person you were meant to be might be excruciatingly painful, but the results are worthwhile. So keep in mind that this is just a stage of change when your faith is put to the test or when you find yourself in the midst of life storms. You will develop strength and a level of faith that will benefit you for the rest of your life as a result of the challenges you have faced. You'll come out the other side, not shattered but strengthened, not beaten but triumphant. Just have faith in the process. Have faith in God's timing. Have faith that you are moving in the direction of your ultimate good. The universe wants to make you into the best version of yourself, not break you. So. Cling to your faith, even how tenuous it may seem right now, because you will emerge from this test stronger, more resilient, and more spiritually connected than you could have ever imagined. It's not just about weathering the storms of life, my dear friends. It's also about learning to dance in the rain and to discover brightness even in the deepest recesses of our being. Maintain your passion your inspiration, and most importantly, your commitment to the amazing path that is all yours. If you enjoyed seeing this movie, I would appreciate it if you would help me share the word to others who might benefit from it. I hope you have a lovely day.